Assalamu alaikum girls i hope you all are fine and having a great ramadan in previous lecture we have completed the chapter 4th which was about meal preparation today the lecture is about chapter 5 that is introduction to child care and development this chapter is basically about human growth and development different changes occurs in human development various aspects of it developmental tasks or different stages some factors which affects the growth and development genetics roles and some principles but today we are going to cover few topics so let's move towards the objectives at the end of this lecture you all are going to understand about growth and development you all are going to define human development as well and also going to determine quantitative and qualitative changes in human development you are also going to differentiate between growth and development and also going to understand why the study of human development is significant so the first what is growth the conventional meaning of growth is those physical and biological changes which occurs during the different period of age and especially from early years to till adolescence which includes construction of cells tissues and organs of our body like hairs nails growth and growth of bones etc the next is development the term development tends to mean such physical changes which tend to improve the working capacity of a person for example strength of bones ability to walk and run read or write these are the few examples of development but development is basically related to skills and abilities which polishes with the passage of time when uh, an individual grows and move in this uh, society it, uh, it polishes now the impacts of development on human health the proper development of children is very important for the growth of their personality and well-being it affects the children in following manners children are generally more healthy and happy when they have a proper and healthy development children uses their energy in positive manner and do not suffer from disappointment they become responsible and friendly and the last they also learn to work hard and become great achievers development the changes which occurs in height stature and physical appearance with an increase in the age is called human growth two kinds of changes take place with the passage of time among human beings that are qualitative changes and qualitative changes now what is the quantitative change in human development quantitative change includes those external and internal change in human structure which are visible like weight physique increases in them is basically a quantitative change which is visible to a human eye the next developmental changes occurs in body parts like bones hair teeth etc including internal organs like increases in brain and heart size along with changes occurs in them etc the next one is qualitative change qualitative change includes the development of skills and abilities in an individual which can only be visible by showing them like running walking writing these only skills only be seen by showing them they can't be uh, visible uh, without showing them without an expression quantitative uh, sorry qualitative changes develops with the development of human body like the development i have told it develops with the passage of time by working on it it gets polished the next quantitative and qualitative changes depends on each other for example when a child grows different quantitative changes occurs in him or her along with these changes different skills and abilities also start developing when an individual reaches the state of adolescence he or she have a complete control on life able to understand his or her abilities and work though quantitative and become a part of qualitative changes which cannot be separated 
Next sum are the some differences between growth and development. Growth, it's a long, uh, it's a process of becoming large or longer or more numerous and most importantly, a physical change which is visible. Next, the development, it's a process in which something transform most positively into a different stage or improve. It's a social and psychological development which we learn from our society or from ourselves with the passage of time. The next growth includes the external and internal changes in human structure, which is visible like weight, physique, height, etc. Development includes the skills and abilities of individual, which can only be visible by showing them like running, walking, writing, etc. We have uh, uh, discussed this before. It is about in growth is about increase in size or number and development is about learning new abilities. Growth stops when an organism reach, reaches the stage of maturity and development is a long, lifelong process. Growth involves the body change like growth of bones, teeth, blood formation, etc. Development involves skills like cognitive ones, physical strength, blood circulation system, the improvement in it or the work the blood, over the passage of time, it increases and the skills of hand and fingers, etc.